Hello. In this project, we will create an image viewer that allows you to conveniently view images. We will cover several important aspects of Windows application development, including interacting with files and folders, working with images, and managing application windows. Additionally, you will learn how to handle errors and provide error information to the user. We will create a user interface with a menu that includes an open folder option and a list, list view, of images displayed with the ability to double-click to open an image and a context menu to open an image. The menu bar element is a container for placing menu items. It is located in the grid row with an index of 0, which means it is at the top of the user interface. The menu bar item element represents a menu item inside the menu bar. It has the title, file, which will be displayed as text on this menu item. The menu flyout item element is a submenu item that will appear when the file item is selected. It has the text, open folder, and the folder icon. It also defines a click event that will be triggered when this item is selected. The list view element is used to display a list of items. It is named image list view and is located in the grid row with an index of 2. The background property is set to Azure to set the background color of the list. List view .item template. This block defines a template for displaying each item in the list. In this case, each item will be represented as a frame with an image inside it. Properties for the image, such as the image source, stretch, width, height, and events like double tapped and a context menu, are defined to handle double clicking and displaying a context menu. ListView.Items panel, here, a template for arranging items in the list is defined. In this case, a wrap grid is used, which arranges items in a grid with the specified maximum number of rows or columns, in this case, a maximum of 10. Now, we will create an empty window called Image Display Window. In the Solution Explorer within the project, right-click and select Add, then New Item. In the Add New Item dialog, choose Blank Window and click Add. Add code to Image Display Window.xaml and Image Display Window.xaml.cs. C# -sharp code. Observable collection image paths equals new observable collection. This is the declaration and initialization of the image paths collection, which will store paths to images. Public main window. This is the constructor of the main window class. It executes when an instance of the main application window is created. Here, the initialization of interface components and setting the window title to image viewer takes place. Load image paths async. Method performs asynchronous loading of paths to images from a folder selected by the user. Let's break down each step. Var folder picker equals new folder picker. A folder picker object is created, which allows the user to choose a folder containing images. We specify suggested start location to suggest starting the folder search in the pictures library. Var hwnd equals winrt interop.windownative.getWindowHandle. This, this line retrieves the window handle of the current application using WinRT interop. It will be used later to initialize folder picker with the application's window. WinRT interop.initialize with window initialize. This line initializes folder picker to work correctly with the application's window specified in HWND. Folder picker.file type filter add.jpg and similar lines. Here, file extensions that will be displayed in the folder selection dialog are added. In this case, JPG, JPEG, PNG, BMP, and GIF extensions are added. Storage folder folder equals await folder picker dot pick single folder async. Here, an asynchronous folder selection dialog is displayed, and the user can choose a folder containing images. The selected folder will be represented by a storage folder object. If folder is not null, it checks whether a folder was chosen, the user did not click cancel. Var files equals await folder.get files async. 
If a folder was chosen, an asynchronous retrieval of the list of files inside that folder is performed. Var image extensions equals new list, a list of image extensions is created. For each var file in files, this loop iterates through all files in the selected folder. If image extensions contains file.filetype.toLower, it checks if the file extension is in the list of image extensions and converts it to lowercase. Image paths add file path. If the file is an image, its path is added to the image paths collection. Show all images. Finally, the method calls show all images to display the found images in the interface. Thus, this method allows the user to choose a folder with images, filters the files to leave only images, and stores their paths for later display. Show all images, this method sets image paths as the data source for the image list view control, which results in displaying images in the list. Menu open folder click, this event handler method for the open folder menu button calls the load image paths async method, which loads paths to images from the selected folder. The open image item click method performs the opening of an image in a separate window when double clicked or selected from the context menu. Let's break down its actions in detail. If image list view dot selected item is not null, this code block begins with checking for a selected item in image list view. If no item is selected, the method exits without further actions. In this part of the code, the path to the image to be opened is determined. If the event is triggered from the context menu, sender is menu flyout item menu item, the path is extracted from the tag property of the menu item. Otherwise, if the event is triggered by double clicking on the image, the path is extracted from the data context property of the image. A new image display window is created, which will be used to display the image in full screen mode. The window handle is obtained using winrt interop.windownative.getWindowHandle, and it is then used to create window ID, app window, and overlap presenter objects. This is necessary to configure the window and control its behavior, such as setting window controls, activating the window, and bringing it to the front. After configuring the window, an attempt is made to load the image using a bitmap image object, specifying image path as the image source. Exceptions that may occur during image loading are handled in a try-catch block. If the loading is successful, the image is set as the source for the full screen window. Full image. This is the image element in image display window, and the window is activated for display. If an error occurs during image loading, a dialog window with error information is created and displayed using a wait dialog. Show async. Image double tapped, this event handler method for double clicking on an image calls open image item underscore click to open the image in full screen mode when an image is double clicked. In conclusion, you have created an application capable of loading images from a selected folder and displaying them in a convenient list. If you're interested in learning more about programming and app development, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new materials and updates.